got on tour, you know, she was so young. And here we have Tyler up and riding. Beautiful first turn off the top. And swooping into the second section, releasing those fins there. And she's looking for a finish, and she gets it. That was a beautifully set. Tyler, it was really special for you to be a Bells champion. Well, you've done that. Has your motivation changed to win another one? No, I want to win more. <laughs> for two-time world champion Tyler Wright, there is one trophy she coveted more than any other. Your 2022 Bells Beach champion, Tyler Wright. Last year, she was very vocal about how badly she wanted to win a belt. It is more than a win. It's the only event that I've ever really wanted to win. There was this thing that was missing in her career. You know, I've been competing here for 12 years and I've got second twice. I've won two world titles, but this feels pretty close to it. That was the first event back that I really felt like I was surfing like myself since 2017. It felt really special to be able to feel that again. Even with a win at Bells, Tyler finished the year in eighth place and missed out on the WSL finals for the second year in a row. The last two years we've had the Rip Curl WSL finals, one thing that's been absent has been Tyler Wright. With her health, that's always been the issue of missing events. The amount of excruciating pain my whole body was in is something I've never felt before. So many days, it's like I can't get back up anymore. This year, the hope for Tyler is she can stay strong from start to finish. If Tyler can stay healthy, there is no doubt a third world title is possible in 2023. How much would it mean to you to make that top five? It's not so much about winning as it is um, my priority is just doing it my way. We're in this golden period in her career where she's really found out who she is as a person, and that's translating into incredible results on the tour. <laughs> Thanks. Semi-final one is a face-off between Australian Tyler Wright and eight-time world champion Stephanie Gilmore. Tyler Wright, can she go back to back? Stephanie Gilmore looking to stand alone as the most winning surfer here at Bells Beach. She's up at the moment trying to uh, just get rid of a one-point ride. She's already done that to extend this lead over Tyler Wright. And she is looking on at the moment. She absolutely made something out of nothing. Yeah, well, Tyler's going to need to respond here because Steph just dropped a 5.33 and powerful turn to get started. Drives up into the pocket again. She loves the feel of it. Really, really solid answer back. An eight-point ride. That was a major turning point in this semi-final. Tyler is just all business out here today at Winky Pop. She wants it, and uh, she's going to have a real solid chance of a title defence. It's going to consolidate this lead, a 7.33, and that should do it for last year's event champion. It's not personal, I swear. I love Steph, she knows that. But when it comes to these situations, it's kind of like, I just don't care who's in my heat. She feels free and open to surf the way she wants to surf, and, and that's pretty scary for the other competitors. Two-time world champion Tyler Wright takes on world number one Molly Picklum in the final. Tyler Wright of the longtime veteran, two-time world champ, defending Bells champ, trying to upset the role of the yellow jersey, this 20-year-old named Molly Picklum, who is oh so confident. As we've got Tyler with a lot of speed. Tyler sets up the big gouge and then has enough time to shut it down. Great read there from the defending Bells champion. Picklum with priority. She'll need something solid here because Tyler just dropped a 7.83. She holds back. Tyler's going to take it. Two-time world champ Tyler Wright sets the rail to Pizel. End section approaching quickly, and she just hammers it. The big finish. It's brought her home through the semis and quarters. Counting down. Three, two, one. And we'll make it official. Tyler Wright has done it in back-to-back -back seasons. A champion once again at the Rip Curl Pro Bells Beach presented by Bonsoy. It's been amazing to have my full team and full support here. It's moments like these that mean the world to me now. Hey! It was master versus apprentice. And on this one, the master, she just rose to the occasion and, and said to the apprentice, well, you just need to wait there for a little while longer before you're gonna get your belt. just to, um, yeah, just to look into the future about, you know, what we have seen. And up and riding, Tyler Wright, again, wow. beautiful surfing. And just taking this one through to the inside section here. 
She is just powered up, Bugs. She just looks so uh, confident. Tyler, of course, in complete command of the situation, taking the bomb sets. And here is another bomb. Already has a couple of seven-point rides, looking to improve on one of them here. Great start to this ride, drops back into the bowl, keeping these turns nice and close to the pocket. Just so coiled and ready to strike with turns like that. Big grab rail carve into a strong finish. You watch Caroline, you know, Bronte when she was on tour. Tatiana, they have such strong backhands, and they have to. Oh, some movement here on the outside. Good-looking wall. Oh, an unbelievable grab rail carve to get started here from the two-time world champion. Uh, she now looks to link this one through to the inside. Changes up the approach, pressing on those fins. And a glide through a beautiful cutback with a neat rebound. And there's that motivation we touched on. Just uh, some real emotion from yeah. Tyler Wright. And that should be a huge score. The double. Here we go. Tyler Wright, this is straight off the buzzer. And she's just been gaining momentum throughout the event so far, Chris. Deep bottom turn straight into the layback. Patented maneuver right there by Tyler Wright. Into the lip line afterwards. Combination of strong maneuvers to start this wave off. Nearly gets caught behind this wave, makes it around it, and has some more green face to work with. Beautiful, strong turn right there. Brings it all the way around, even slid the fins a little bit. That Pizel board looks good underneath her feet. And look at this opening turn. The sequence of maneuvers right here goes from the layback, real nice and tight in the pocket right there. And then as you see right here, she just follows the same line uses one bottom turn to go straight into the second major maneuver in a very critical section right here. Straight into the lip line, as good as it gets. Look at the projection that she had right there, moving down the line, the amount of spray, the commitment, the power, had everything in that one, Chris. She just needs to get a better wave. As we see now, Tyler Wright, she's got a burner. Vertical snap to start, building up tons of speed. What does she have for us around the corner? Get around it, long floater. Little airdrop there. Great presence of mind to keep pushing down the line. There's this kind of carve with the uh, extra flare on the finish. <laughs> love that. Team loves it. We'll see if the judges love it more than 7.17. Identify a wave, but you know, I got a little ants in her pants and she had to get away really quick. You know, you get excited. Um, you know, these waves, this wave for Tyler, even though it had the foam on the face, where she put her board into the, into the corner and, and did her turns, they were, they were in the perfect spot. And, and that's what you need is a wave that's going to stand up and give you the opportunity to put your board up into the corner. Nice power gouge to start. And then right here, she goes to work on the open face into the lip. I mean, I, I feel like she's just found the right waves to win the heat so far. So the rematch from El Salvador's final here, the semi-final here at Sakurama. Tyler Wright throwing some clean backhand turns. Additional great news for you. You've clinched your spot in the final five. Your thoughts on that? Yeah, look, it's, uh, yeah, it's a lot of hard work. That's cool. Um, pretty happy with that, actually. That's, it's been a long time since I've been in, in title contention. I think it's been five years, so... Um, you know, I think the main thing for me is to stay in my process, though, and just keep, you know, I kind of have, like, ideas and thoughts of kind of what I want to do, and it's just being in my process. And I think that's where the joys really come back in for, into it for me, I think. Um, and, yeah, just kind of just staying focused on that. And I kind of, I really do want to finish a year. I haven't finished a year in five years, so... Um, That'd be pretty cool, and no, we just keep, I don't know, one foot in front of the other. It's not too complicated for me, but it's, it's pretty cool news. Well, Tyler, we're going to plan on seeing you at the Rip Curl WSL Final, Lower Trestle, September 8th. Tyler swinging again. Slotted deep and finds the exit. Tyler Wright, tube hunting. Well, Tyler Wright, on to the finals. I don't have an option to not show up. Here's Tyler, looking strong. Beautiful work on the rail for Tyler Wright. It's not so much about winning as it is just doing it my way. Tyler Wright, back-to-back -back seasons. A champion once again at the Rip Curl Pro Bells Beach. 
Tyler Wright is a world title contender this year. She's got a job to do, and I feel like she's going to do it. For the first time, we will see Tyler Wright at the Rip Curl WSL Finals. Welcome back to live action from the Corona Open. J Bait, you're looking at Tyler Wright here swinging on her second wave. Powerful opening turn from her. And again, driving in the pocket, committing that rail. A lot of board underwater as she slices through. And then patient as this one sets up here, opening up using the full amplitude of the face of the wave. A quick snap from her. And this one will get pacey here. Let's see what she's got through to the inside. Goes up with the float maneuver to finish. Job's not over yet. We'll take a look at our WSL finals bracket, Peter. And uh, one thing to note, when we look at the cast of characters, Pete, is that there's only one surfer that's been here before. Four new faces for the Rip Curl WSL finals for the women. Yeah, now that, you know, number one seed in Carissa Moore is the one surfer you had mentioned that's been there all of these matches, and she's got a ton of experience and a bunch of youth there. So I would say that probably applies a lot of pressure to that number one seed um, because, uh, you know what, she's not going to want to let this one squander again. But look at Tyler Wright, Caroline Marks, Molly Picklem, and Caitlin Simmers. You've got some youngsters there, some veterans, in, uh, and we'll call Caroline a veteran, even though she's only 21, <laughs> because right. sure. she's been able to do it, right? Yeah. She mentioned how she's kind of had to go through and she's had to learn the new format. She's been in the middle of all these changes. Yeah. Uh, so she's been able to adjust to that and get herself an opportunity. And again, it's match play. Winner moves into the next match all the way until meeting up with Carissa Moore, where those will be the title match. It will be the best of three for a world title. We're crowning another world champ in the water flick. Oh my goodness, I just can't believe it. We're going to have another amazing sporting moment like what we just witnessed this <laughs> afternoon. Let's it, go. It